Bitcoin prices tumbled over the weekend after Iran's missile attack on Israel this morning. Crypto prices are firming up once again. You see Bitcoin uh, 66,250 or thereabouts. Now joining us, Kavita Gupta, Delta Blockchain Fund founder. Kavita, I'll first just get your read on, uh, on the price action recently. Obviously, uh, it had had a huge run and then a little bit of a, uh, of a retreat going into the weekend. Hi, uh, thank you. I actually uh, saw Andrew's tweet also today morning, like what is happening in the space. So I would just say it's been a very interesting weekend. Actually, for me personally, uh, Saturday night has all been buying and looking into the market. Um, combination of taxes and the announcement that there was maybe a possibility of much more elevated political issues between Iran and Israel. I think the combination of that really squeezed in the liquidity. But we are already seeing that with the approval of Bitcoin and ETH, ETFs in, Singapore, in Hong Kong today, and the sentiments are back, and we see the same numbers as we saw pretty much very closer to before the weekend. Yeah, the mention of taxes is, is helpful. Uh, just a reminder that obviously this is a, a liquidity driven instrument in the short term for sure. Of course, you also have the, the big uh, overarching story of the halving, which is underway. You know, it's, it's interesting that every time we stack up all these factors, why perhaps folks should be bullish on the price of these coins, it's known things in advance. I mean, doesn't the market kind of get to this and figure it out, uh, uh, you know, before they, the events actually hit? No, I think liquidity around April, March, April, we have always seen that there is a liquidity squeeze. Sometimes we will finally end up realizing they owe more than what they were thinking or last minute filings. But for Bitcoin and ETH and especially overall market, we saw 15 to 20 percent for the all tokens, which I love to call technology tokens, actually, is more because also the is there is going to be more conflict in the Middle East. I think that just triggered a little bit more fear on liquidity. Is it going to be long term? Are the, are the oil and gas prices going to go high? And I think that combination got and shocked the market a little bit for a day. Uh, but as I said, even with the taxes, uh, we are already seeing price volatility for a month, even though Bitcoin halving is about to come, where usually the prices are much more higher. We did see Bitcoin prices going high, uh, mm -hmm. reaching a new next all-time high. So I think it's just that particular combination of those two events. But you do think that there's the, the possibility of a, of a somewhat deeper correction here, do you not? 100 percent. And that's what I've been saying. Uh, I was on your show like a month back. I said the same. I've been saying that I do see a little bit correction of, of 15 to 20, 25 percent. Uh, but I don't see a much lower volatility. Said that later this year with so many new projects which are about to come into the market on the technology basis and more and more demand for Bitcoin and ETH ETFs, I do see a huge swing up in the market reaching, especially for ETH, and a lot of really credible technology tokens like Polygon to reach their mm -hmm. new all-time high.